Good morning, it's Martin the Panel Formance. We've got a Ford Transit 2.2 TDCI Euro 5 on the dyno today. Uh, this one being the 125 brake horse engine. Uh, now these engines, they come in a 100 brake horse, a 125 brake horse and a 155 brake horse. They're 100% the same engine. Uh, the hardware, injectors, turbo, uh, everything else is 100% the same. So the 100, 125 and 155 are identical engines. It's software inside the engine control unit that limits the power output. Uh, these use a Siemens SID 208 engine control unit. Uh, and we've been custom tuning these since they first come out. Uh, our our tuning is absolutely on the money. We run them just over 1.5 bar boost and we run correct air fuel ratio. So we've got a clean cylinder combustion. Um, we run standard uh, rail pressure on them, we run standard duration map on them, so they're not overfueling, they're absolutely perfect. Uh, our tuning on them is really, really smooth and perfect. What we do with these vehicles, we do a full in-depth health test on them. Uh, they are notorious for a number of uh, forward issues on them. Oil pumps failed on them, they had a real recall uh, for oil pumps on them. Uh, software. The early softwares on them had diesel knock on cold start, so they did a recall on the softwares and did software updates. And other problems these can have is your uh, fifth injector, which people like to call it, which is a DPF a vaporizer injector that can get blocked up and your DPF can get uh, excessive soot load. Can then uh, get excessive carbon build up on the variable veins on your turbo and your electronic actuator can burn out so you don't get no turbo control. Uh, another really common thing on them, or not so common, but it is a fatal error on these, the injectors can fail on them. Uh, and when injectors fail on them, it can burn holes in pistons because it massively overfuel and injectors stick open and it shows a lot of fueling. So if people do have engine fails on them, you've got to replace all injectors. And if you have an engine fail on them as well, you've got to also suspect that your DPF fuel has been contaminated with an engine fail. So, you know, when you're rebuilding an engine uh, on these, new set of injectors, um, new DPF filter, and then also uh, check your D, uh, your turbo as well, make sure you've got turbo control. So anyway, away from that, now onto our tuning. What we do, we do a full in-depth health check, we do a dyno run, which we'll have a bit of a talk about in a minute. And then we've also got the genuine main dealership Ford tool for these. So we plug our main dealership tool in and we connect uh, up to RDS. We uh, log on to Ford server and we'll check for any outstanding software updates. Some of these vehicles are still running the older software. So we do a software update, put it up to the latest Ford software, get rid of that uh, early software that was in and what caused diesel not because of the rail pressure was too high on cold start. So we do a software update. We also do a full diagnostics on it, make sure the fifth injector, which people call it the DPF vaporizer is working. Uh, we check the soot load of the DPF. We do a static regen of the DPF filters. Um, then we also uh, clean or clear the learned adaption values of the throttle body. Uh, and also the electronic actuator of the turbo. Once we've done all this, and uh, <coughs> pardon me, and we've analysed our live data log to make sure everything's right, we then move on to the custom tuning. Um, so we'll just have a little look at the dyno graphs now. So this is as it came into a standard. It's about 129 brake course and 334 newton meters torque. This is before we did a service region on the DPF. They generally make around about 350 newton meters of torque, these 125 brake horse. So this is the graph. So we, uh, all I, where we did with the software updates, the regens and various other things, uh, we was then happy to, <coughs> pardon me, we are then happy to proceed to custom tune the vehicle. And we'll show you the tune we've done on it. We'll also overlay it over the standard as well so you can see the difference again the 100 brake course the 125 and the 155 are 100 percent the same engine people you know people do 
uh, get confused on this and if you see the 100 brake horse one being tuned up to 190 they go oh wait it's way too much but you've got to understand it's 100% the same engine as the 155 brake horse engine uh, this is the results what we've got from this you can see the thin lines are the previous and the bold lines are the tune and we've got so much more uh, torque in the lower RPM range our delivery of torque is much much smoother instead of it going up like that and then down we've got a more progressive torque delivery so the drivability of this vehicle will be a lot smoother and a lot more power the mid-range torque we've gained is absolutely awesome made 186 brake course and 433 newton meter torque it's not about the numbers, you know, we don't tune to said number. We custom tune engines. I'm more interested in that engine being correctly calibrated. Whatever numbers it makes, it makes. Uh, so that is correct calibration on these engines. And we have been tuning these engines a long time. We've tuned thousands and thousands and thousands of them. Yes, there is the small minority of these engines that do go pop. It's a common, common fault with them uh, BM standard or with them BM tuned. Uh, you know, Ford has replaced a lot of engines and a lot of people have replaced engines on them because of injectors sticking and various other things with them standard, you know, totally standard. Now, once we've tuned one of these engines, uh, you know, I think there has been maybe one or two customers that blame us for, for it because they've uh, had it tuned and they think uh, because the injectors have stuck open. It's the tuning that's done it. It's not, it's the injectors. The injectors do fail on them. Uh, I think, I do believe there is one chap that's been posting all over uh, some social media groups saying, oh, because Pendle Performance has remapped my vehicle, my engine's blown up. Uh, I think he's had engine rebuilt two or three times, but he's not fit new injectors. You know, uh, I think he had engine built uh, using the same injectors shortly after engine went again you know he rung me up and i tried to give him honest advice over the phone and he wouldn't have it he wouldn't have the advice uh you know shouting and screaming down phone at me and i was trying to give him the correct advice on what to do i said fit a complete set of injectors have your dpf filter checked maybe fit a new dpf filter have a look at your fifth inject your dpf vaporizer injector uh, and he wouldn't have it. He said, oh, my mechanic knows what he's doing, blah, 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 blah. He wouldn't have, have it or he wouldn't listen to any advice. I was trying to give him, and I am here to help anyone, be it the vehicles being standard or tuned. You know, if you have got a issue with vehicle and I, I have the time, I'm happy to help anyone. Uh, I think helping people in life with my technical knowledge, what I've got on these vehicles is, it's, uh, it's well worth helping people. I do believe we should help a lot of people. In life, I'm very, very passionate in what I do. Tuning wise, I'm very, very passionate about the customer base we've got as well. But what I won't have, you know, once someone starts shouting and being aggressive on the phone to me, I won't have it. You know, I'll, I'll equally be uh, abrupt back with you. Uh, if you do start posting all over on social media and um, doing these hate posts against me, I'll just delete and ban you. I'm not interested in that. I'm more interested in helping genuine people out. If you want to be an arse, I'll just block you from our Facebook page and uh, ban you and won't help you. It's as simple as that, but I will go out of my way to help people. This is correct custom tuning on this vehicle. If you are having these vehicles tuned, please do go to someone who's got the genuine um, Ford main dealership tools. So you can do all the process that I've talked about. You can check, you can go online, you can check that it's got the latest Ford software update. Uh, they can also then check the DPF subload and do a service region. We did a service region on this vehicle. They can also readapt the learned values. You have to do all this, you have to do all this. It's not just a case of flashing a file in there and saying you've remapped them. You've got to do all this prior to tuning them. This is the correct way of tuning these engines. Um, and also service the vehicles regular as well. But that is correct custom tuning on this vehicle. It's got correct air fuel ratio. So we've got a clean cylinder combustion. Uh, we're running a really safe, just over 1.5 bar boost. Uh, DPF's got clean suck load. Absolutely superb. Tuning really doesn't get any better than that. The delivery of the power, uh, the data lag, what we've got from this vehicle, 
the Lamba, the airfield air shot, it really doesn't get any better. This is this is truly at its very best for these Ford Transit Customs 2.2. Uh, thanks for watching.